Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabba QSA. In this video, we are going to see this subject is registered memory and buffer memory. So first of all, I'm going to explain you a little bit about uh, the different, uh, the difference, the different uh, ter terminology that you're going to find inside of this kind of RAM. Also, I'm going to explain you later on how it works uh, with the motherboard, with the CPU and everything else in this little example. So let, let's start with this. So when you start building a server or a computer, you are going to find that every motherboard, they use different kind of ma uh, memory RAM. So in this case, we have registered a memory is the same like buffer memory. So usually in the newer memory, you are going to be more this uh, uh, th uh, term than anything else. But uh, just make, uh, I mean, just I want to let you know that both terms uh, are the same. So if you see one or the other one, it's the same thing. So now we are going to see what kind of motherboard you're going to use. So you have two options, buffer and unbuffer. So you can use one or, or the other one. You, can, you cannot use both at the same time. Also, it, most of the memory, no, most of, of the motherboard, they, they have the slot is a little bit different. They have like a new little notch here. So you will see that in one RAM is here and the other one is a little bit in the, in the, other, in the other side. So you're not going to be able to, to fit one inside of the other one. So that is the, the main uh, difference uh, in between those uh, motherboards. So you're going, uh, even, even though, like I said before, in my other classes, uh, when you see the, the manual, you are going to find out what kind of motherboard, what kind of memory uh, you, you can use. Uh, so you, you cannot use both, like I said before, you're going to have in, <laughs> a, a trouble if you can fit it. But um, like I said, most of the time, the, the notch is a little bit uh, out of place. And so that way you're not going to be able to use it. So you have here uh, in this kind of RAM, you're going to see DDR3, DDR4, and surely in the future DDR5, uh, five, six, and seven, and who knows what else. But uh, you're going to see that this kind of RAM, like we saw in the other class. So if, if this is the first time and you want to get your certification Comtia A+, uh, you can start from the beginning in the playlist or you can buy my full class in my website gavacusa.com so, <laughs> Gavacusa so you're going to see that this um, kind of RAM they they can come with a feature ECC for a correction of any error also you're going to see that this mother this kind of memory they come with with or without it so it, it doesn't mean that when you see, okay, it's a registered memory, is ECC, it comes with the ECC feature. No, it could be one or the other one. So don't, don't worry about that. I mean, it's just something that you have to pay attention when you try to upgrade your, your server or something like that. So just, just keep it that in mind. Also, if you get a, a question like that in the, in the certification, I mean, in the, in the test or something like that. So you know that you, you can have these uh, differences in the, in the RAM. Another, another thing is uh, when you buy this registered uh, memory, you're going to have three options. The main op option will be fully buffer dim or FD, FB dim, or you are going to have the, the normal, the normal buffer dim. And I'm going to explain you a little bit the differences. So the third one will be load reduce dim or LR dim. And the first one, the fully buffer dim, you're going to see that uh, the, the first one, it comes with control lines and data lines. The normal one, it will be just control lines and that's it. So if you don't know how this works, like I said before, go to the playlist and start playing the full class so that way you you know and you are going to understand how the motherboard works and how it communicates with the memory and everything and everything else so memory ram i mean the memory ram with the motherboard motherboard with the memory ram uh, with the cpu and everything else so just uh, 
go start from the beginning if this is the first time that you see this class and then we have the third this third option like i said before the all the lrr dim you're going to have the same features that the fully uh, the fully buffer dim you're going to have the control lines the that data lines and you're going to have a, another feature that is performance and power consumption so that will handle this this chip that you have here in the middle it will control everything i mean all that so the main feature i mean or the main reason why manufacturers put something else in, in the middle of the memory is to to uh, to have better stability in the system so the way you're not going to have crashes uh, and all the things because when you start having a lot of ram in in a server for for instance let's say today 2017 or 2018 you're going to find out that servers they have like six terabytes of ram or eight terabytes of ram and that is a lot of ram at least for for today's standard i mean when most computers they have eight or 16 gigs of ram so when you have eight terabytes of RAM, that is a lot of RAM. Maybe in 50, in 50 years, uh, the server will have hundreds and hundreds of, of, of terabytes. And it will be like something very common. But at least today, is that is how it works. So when you have a, a lot of RAM, you are going to have some stability issues with the with electricity so that way in order to avoid to have a lot of load in the memory controller you're going to have this kind of a chip inside of the on the memory so that way it will it will keep the the system more stable so that is one of the functions another another function of this kind of chip is that it will keep one data i mean the the bad thing i'm going to tell you the bad thing about this kind of ram is the memory will be one cycle behind so because you have this chip that will have data besides the, the, the other chips that you have here so it will be one cycle before uh, behind so that is is going to be a little bit more a little bit slower uh, than the regular uh, RAM that, that, that the one that is unregistered so in this case the good thing another feature like i was telling you before is that it will keep just the data there and then if the memory needs needs it it can take it from from here and if it, if the cpu needs it it will take it will take it from here so that is a, a good thing so it will uh, give some independency uh, from the from the memory so it, it will go from the to the cpu or to the memory is, is some uh, small advantage okay so to recap the the class first thing is register ram is one thing and register ram is another thing is two uh, different type the slot uh, that you're going to need in the motherboard is going to be different also remember it may come with ecc or it can it may come without ecc you have three different uh, kinds you have fully buffer dim you have the normal and you have the load reduce dim and also remember the just the explanation that i said about the the chip it will be running just one cycle behind so i hope you have enjoyed this class if you have any question about this kind of ram or maybe you have any question about how to become a computer technician or something else you can leave a comment in the section below remember to subscribe to the channel click on the little bell so that way every time i upload the video youtube will let you know and see you next class bye